what I eat in a day frozen food edition. So today I'm going to be doing another highly requested what I eat in a day and I'm only going to be having frozen foods from Picard which is like a French frozen food store. I talk about frozen foods quite a lot on my channel because I feel like some people demonize them. They only look at the ultra processed frozen foods like frozen pizza, like frozen cheeseburgers, and then they think that all frozen foods are like unhealthy. And sometimes even things like frozen veggies, frozen fruit, they're seen as less healthy than the fresh ones. And that is absolutely false. Actually, if you get frozen fruit and veggies, usually they are frozen at peak maturity and when that fruit or veggie is actually in season and so you're going to be getting even more vitamins and minerals benefits than if you were to get the fresh veggie. Getting frozen foods also saves a lot of time because you don't have to do a lot of chopping and peeling and even preparing in certain cases and it's also very cheap compared to other things that you could be buying. So I'm giving myself the challenge to eat only frozen foods for 24 hours and to make that healthy, to make that be a balance of foods that I enjoy and are convenient and easy and like quickly prepared and also foods that are healthy and that are gonna give me the nutrients that I need. So that's gonna be my challenge for today and I'm gonna take you along with me and hope you enjoy it. So I just got back from Picard and we're gonna start with breakfast. I'm super hungry, I haven't had breakfast yet. So I got pancakes, yes, not the healthiest option there, but you'll see throughout this day that I can balance things out no problem. So I'm gonna start with pancakes, probably gonna have like three of them and then I got some raspberries these are actually not from Picard they were out of them so I just got them somewhere else but they have frozen raspberries usually at Picard as well um, I like to get frozen raspberries because not frozen raspberries are so expensive like literally so expensive okay and then I'm gonna cheat a little bit because this is not frozen obviously but there wasn't really any frozen toppings except from like the raspberries that I wanted to put on the pancakes. So I'm like, mm, probably it'll be fine if I just use a little bit of that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's like a pancake stack with a bunch of raspberries and there's a little bit of cashew nut butter in the middle. So that looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. And if you're wondering why I have a hat on, it's cause I didn't get ready yet. And I feel like that hides that a little bit. Whenever I have pancakes, I love to have like a stack. Like I can't eat just one at a time. I like to have the stack and then like cut it into little triangles. Tastes so good. Mm. Okay, these frozen pancakes are actually really good. If you're having pancakes in the morning and they're not like oatmeal and banana pancakes, like some, some type of like healthified version of pancakes, that's totally fine. You can have normal pancakes for breakfast, but it's a good idea to balance them out a little bit. So in pancakes, you're gonna be missing, it's gonna be like pretty high in carbs. 
and you're going to be missing well there's a little bit of protein with the, the eggs um, but you're still going to be missing some protein and a lot of fiber so that's why i added a bunch of raspberries they're very high in fiber and so that's going to give me the fiber content that i need for this morning and also i put a little bit of nut butter cashew nut butter because it's going to give me some protein and healthy fats and it's also okay once in a while if you want to have a huge stack of pancakes with butter and maple syrup and if you don't want to try to make them balanced that's fine i do that sometimes totally okay too so it's lunchtime now and i'm going to be having this so it's a mix of lentils and vegetables it's like um red lentils and that is a meal that i make for myself like with whole ingredients on a pretty regular basis so i'm really excited to see what their version of it tastes like and then i looked at the composition of this because while i'm not the biggest fan of scrutinizing like every single ingredient on a nutrition label a nutrition label when i am getting um frozen foods i just like to make sure that they don't add a ton of additives or preservatives and that the ones that they do add are like not um an issue so i looked at the ingredients and there are literally no additives no preservatives and that's why i love frozen foods so much because since they're frozen bacteria can't develop in them and so they don't need to be putting all these preservatives in the food that you usually find in like ready meals if they aren't frozen and this will last me for a few meals i don't know if they say like the portions how many oh it says for two to three um, portions so probably it's gonna last me for two meals so that's really good this is what it looks like before the microwave doesn't look super appetizing but and I know that for dessert I'm gonna be having some frozen pineapple and so I'm gonna just leave them in a little bowl like least leave, leave some of them in a bowl so that by the time that I'm done with lunch they would have time to like defreeze and I can enjoy them so it looks good it smells good let's see if it tastes good It's really, really good. It tastes super creamy. Like the, the vegetables are perfectly cooked, I feel like. I really recommend this, these types of meals because this is the example of a balanced meal. Like I literally took it out of the bag and it was balanced. There's lentils for protein and carbs and carrots for a little bit of carbs as well. And then a bunch of different veggies to get in the fiber. And now for dessert, some pineapple. It's still a little bit frozen, but I guess that's perfect for this super hot weather that we're currently having. That's a joke, it's super cold. Okay, it's still a little bit too frozen. So I'm gonna microwave it like 30 seconds. Now it's time for dinner. And sorry the lighting is terrible. It's really dark out. For dinner, I have this mix of gnocchi and vegetables and mozzarella. And I think there's like tomatoes and spinach and zucchini in there. If I look at the ingredients, there's just the gnocchi, tomato sauce, vegetables, mozzarella. That's it. And this is for three to four people. Probably gonna give me like two maybe three portions also i'm really really hungry the lunch i had was not that satiating i think i should have increased the portions a little bit so this is what my dinner plate looks like it looks so so good the cheese like there's so much cheese it's like melted in the gnocchi it looks absolutely delicious so i'm going to try Very good. If you're French and you have a Picard, definitely recommend this one. So 
So I'm done with my day of eating frozen meals and honestly, they were so good. All of these meals were so good. I kind of knew that it would be that way going into this because I've always been a fan of frozen foods, but this was really delicious and you literally cannot tell that these foods were frozen. I feel like when you get ready meals that aren't frozen, um, like that are like just pre-packaged and not frozen, you can tell like they have this kind of annoying taste, um, this like taste of like heavy sauce or like a certain type of preservative, lots of salt, I don't know, but they just taste weird but with frozen foods i mean high quality frozen foods i guess they all taste really good and also here because the goal was to eat only frozen foods i got foods that were like already prepped like the gnocchi with like all the veggies inside and then the curry of like vegetables and um lentils but we can also do is get like vegetables and then get like fish or meat if you eat that because there are some there are some frozen fish and meat options and then you can cook like a grain to go along with that and that way you really reduce your cooking time and you still have a meal that is not like pre-prepared that you can make on your own usually when i eat frozen foods that's the way i do it i buy like different ingredients and i mix them together but i think that today was really interesting for me because it showed me that i could find ready meals where everything is already ready for me to eat with actually high quality items and no additives no preservatives literally the same ingredients that i would have used to make the dish so that was really cool to see obviously picard is french so if you don't live in france i don't know you're not probably going to be able to access exactly that but I'm sure that you can find alternatives. I'm sure that in certain like whole food stores or things like that, you can find high quality frozen products. So take this as an encouragement to go look at the frozen aisles of wherever you shop. Also in terms of price, it was very reasonable. I paid so 14 euros at Picard and then like six euros for the raspberries. So that's like 20 euros for the day of eating, which obviously sounds like a lot, but this is gonna last me two or three days things that i bought um for like full meals and then i'm still gonna have probably leftover raspberries and leftover pineapple in order to make healthy choices i think it's really important that you think of the convenience factor as well because when you're coming home from a long day if you have to like cook an entire meal from scratch that's not convenient and so you're less likely to to do it but if you have frozen foods you're drastically cutting down on the preparation time and if you have frozen meals that are healthy and balanced and ready to go, then it's even better. So again, think about frozen meals whenever you are like in a hurry and you want to make sure that you have something that you're gonna be able to eat really quickly, with like a very limited prep time. And then if I think about hunger levels, I probably should have gotten a little snack. I didn't think to get a snack because usually I don't snack that much because I have like pretty big portions, but the portions weren't that big. I, I I still felt a little bit hungry in between like lunch and dinner and probably would have eaten a snack if I had like a frozen snack available. And Pical, they have like so many different pastries um, and like snacky foods to choose from. This sounds like an ad for Pical. I wish, let me tell you, I wish I was sponsored by them, but I'm not. I just really, really like them. And just, this is an ode to frozen foods in general, if you don't have Pika, of course. That's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.